Robert Eager, mostly commonly known as Bob Eager, is a wealthy American businessman. He was the former CEO of the Walt Disney Company for 15 years, but has since shifted to the executive chairman and chairman for the board. Eager is an extremely intelligent and creative character who did wonders for the Disney franchise during his time as the CEO. He worked for a total of 23 years at Disney in multiple high-ranking positions and worked 22 years at ABC, also in high-ranking positions. As you probably can imagine, he has learned many lessons and many mistakes that have helped him grow as a successful businessman and leader during his time at both of these corporations. In today's video, we're going to cover the leadership principles we should all learn according to Bob Eager. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Number 1. The Ability to Focus Bob Eager cannot stress enough how important it is to focus and allocate your time, resources, and energies to tasks and issues that matter the most and are of the utmost importance. Prioritizing your time and what is the most important is key key to being a good leader and conveying the top priorities to your team is just as important. Eager states, if you don't articulate your priorities clearly, then the people around you don't know what their own should be. Time and energy and capital get wasted. In addition, Eager always cautions others against letting ambition and drive get ahead of the opportunities and responsibilities they have at present. People need to think in the moment and make sure everything gets done that needs to be done before adding on more tasks. As a leader, this is incredibly crucial to becoming successful and maintaining said success. Quote, by fixing Fixating on a future job or project, you become impatient with where you are. You don't tend enough to the responsibilities you do have, and so ambition can become counterproductive, Eager writes. When stressing this leadership principle, Eager often refers back to the advice he had received from former mentor and boss Dan Burke. Avoid getting into the business of manufacturing trombone oil. You may become the greatest trombone manufacturer in the world, but in the end, the world only consumes a few quarts of trombone oil a year. Number 2. Integrity According to Bob Eager and many powerful, successful businessmen and CEOs, Nothing is more important than having the integrity and the quality of a company's products and people. Every great leader's success has been dependent on him or her setting high ethical standards for all things business related big and small. A good leader will demand integrity from all of his employees and of their products at all times. Eager states, True integrity, a sense of knowing who you are and being guided by your own clear sense of right and wrong is kind of a secret leadership weapon. If you trust your own instincts and treat people with respect, the company will come to represent the values you live by. Number 3. Being optimistic optimistic and positive. As a leader, you cannot be harsh and unapproachable. You need to remain often in a state of optimism and positivity. If your staff sees their boss being positive and optimistic, it will, in turn, rub off on them being higher quality work and more productive working environment overall. Eager writes that no one wants to follow a pessimist who is constantly being negative. Optimism is about believing in your employees and believing in yourself. You will 100% make mistakes along the way. You are only human, but learning from those mistakes and remaining optimistic will help put you on the path of great success. Eager states, optimism in a leader, especially in challenging times, is so vital. Optimism sets a different machine in motion, especially in difficult moments. The people you lead need to feel confident in your ability to focus on what matters and not to operate from a place of defensiveness and self-preservation. The tone you set as a leader has an enormous effect on the people around you. No one wants to follow a pessimist. If you walk up and down the hall constantly telling people the sky is falling a sense of doom and gloom will, over time, permeate the company. You cannot communicate pessimism to the people around you. It's ruinous to morale. Number 4. Having the ability to take risks and being courageous. The foundation of risk taking in any business is courage. You need to have courage as a leader and the ability to take risks and be okay with taking these risks, Bob Eager says. Too often, we lead from a place of fear rather than courage, stubbornly trying to build a bulwark to protect those old models that can't possibly survive the sea of change that is underway, he writes. I didn't want to be in the business of playing it safe. I wanted to be in the business of creating possibilities for greatness. Of all the lessons I learned in that first first year running prime time, the need to be comfortable with failure was the most profound. Number 5. Being decent and fair to those around you Eager puts a huge emphasis on being decent and fair. For leaders to become successful and sustain the success, they need to be decent and treat those around them fairly. This helps strengthen those working relationships and develops trust and loyalty, which is paramount to any business withstanding the test of time. Leaders must treat their staff with empathy and treat them how they would want to be treated. Eager states, this doesn't mean that you lower your expectations or convey the message that mistakes don't matter. It means that you create an environment where people know you'll hear them out, that you're emotionally consistent and fair-minded, and that they'll be given second chances for honest mistakes. Strong leadership embodies the fair and decent treatment of people. Nothing is worse to an organization than a culture of fear. Number 6. Valuing ability more than experience Another central principle to remember as a leader is to value ability over experience. Obviously not in all cases, but for the most part, someone's past does not always define them, and on the opposite scale, just because someone has a lot 
lot of experience doesn't mean they are always necessarily better suited for the position. We often see with the older workforce that leaders want to hire those who have the most experience, completely discrediting the younger working generation who has the thirst and drive to work hard and are more than capable and able to put 110% into any role they're given. No matter what age or demographic someone comes from, valuing ability over experience will help you find dedicated, motivated, and productive employees leading to your success as a leader and as a business. Eager also claims that you should try to put people in roles that require more out of them than they know that they have in them. We often don't believe in ourselves completely and tend to doubt our abilities. Thus, by putting people in positions that require more than they may fully expect, you can see the true extent of their potential. Number 7. Thoughtfulness This principle goes in conjunction with being positive and empathetic. Eager says that thoughtfulness is one of the most underrated, underacknowledged elements of a, of a good leader leadership. Thoughtfulness is the process of gaining knowledge so that when you give an opinion or make an important decision, you have the relevant knowledge to back it up. He continues by stating, you have to do the homework, you have to be prepared. It's simply about taking the time to develop informed opinions. Number 8. Not being fake. Being your authentic self. Authenticity is a big one, and when it comes to being a good, successful leader, Eager says that you should never fake anything. You should always aim to be genuine and honest at all times. You need to stay humble, Eager continues. You cannot try and pretend to be someone you are not, or know something you don't. Those around you will have a lot more respect for you if they know you are being your genuine self and they are seeing the real you. Number 9. The Relentless Pursuit of Perfection Bob Eager received a valuable piece of advice that strongly relates to becoming a good leader and maintaining good leadership attributes. According to Eager, Michael Eisner, who was the former CEO of Disney, told Eager, if you believe that something can be made better, put in the effort to do it, and that micromanaging is underrated. Now, this doesn't mean striving for perfection at all costs, but it does mean a refusal to accept mediocrity and average results or making excuses for something being good enough. You will never become a successful leader or a successful business person if you do not care about good enough. Eager points out that sweating the small details can help show your employees just how much you care. This in turn can increase productivity, attention to detail, and eliminates the half-done effort. The downfall is that it can sometimes come across as a lack of trust in the person who has completed the work for you. However, if you are honest and clear in your intentions, you shouldn't have an issue. Number 10. Decisiveness Quote, All decisions, no matter how difficult, can and should be made in a timely way. Chronic indecision is not only inefficient and counterproductive, but deeply corrosive to morale, says Eager. And there you have it. 10 of the top leadership principles, according to Bob Eager. If you are trying to become a leader, or maybe you have your own business with a few employees, then we highly recommend taking a leaf out of Bob Eager's book and implementing these principles in order to experience greater success. Sadly, that is all the time that we have for today's video, but don't forget to like and subscribe for more.